So, I added the magnets on the bottom. This is, if you look at it down there, those are the magnets just below the yoke. And that's the cell. I know the water already is brown. It's distilled water with KOH, but I think the iron content of this leads is uh, polluting this water. So this is sure not the right uh, metal for it. Even it says stainless. But this is supposedly the last cell, the last wet cell I'm making. And uh, I have already a dry cell, a very advanced brick cell with only two plates, making as much as about 32 plates. So, but let's go from here and check it out. As you can see, the bottom of the cell is pretty much clean of bubbles. And if you look up there, there's so much going on. It's making so much hydrogen and oxygen. It's boiling. Not boiling because the heat boiling up the amount of what's coming out. So I'm not gonna light it, it's too dangerous, but it's a lot. But as you can see uh, the difference, the field lines of the magnet push up, push away from the, the leads, push the bubbles away up and support this area where the bubbles are squeezed out and this area down there creates a little bit but it makes my electrolyte uniform this include the magnet also because there is a magnetic field between this uh, squish zones, a strong magnetic field, a strong channel where the water is ripped apart and uh, separated in oxygen and hydrogen and that's what the conditioning is about. Any cell condition itself maybe between 20 minutes, 30 minutes to an up to an hour uh, and once this is done uh, the amperage goes is going down. So I, uh, let's see. So I'll show you the difference. I let you see the bubbles with the magnet here. Magnet down there. As you can tell, also the bubbles not only get pushed up by the magnet, but the inner leads and the two outer leads are on one uh, common hookup. And I don't know why the bubbles are drawn from the outer leads. To this one inner lead, even they're in the same common. Uh, I haven't figured out this yet, but 
probably get behind it. show you the action here so much that it doesn't even take well, the, the water is boiling literally not from heat but from the bubbles and the magnetic field which the cell creates by itself supported by the microwave Okay, I turned it off. Still producing a little bit afterwards because the magnetic field lines still push the remnants up there. And still a little bit coming out. Alright, it's clearing up. So this is my last wet cell. Very successful. Maybe I do another one, I'm not sure. Probably since I haven't figured out everything. Okay. I have another lying around which I made similar to the cell I made the first time in my life, which is very successful also, but does not produce near what this one produces so I'm off